What's up guys, it's the only ninja wearing aviators and a superman hat bringing you another video here on the Modern Ninja channel. Now today, we are going to be going over something you guys, or a couple of you guys have asked me uh, several times in the comments of several different videos is how do I learn XMA? So, um, what I'm going to do in this video is going to be a little bit different, let me know if you like this, um, but I'm going to be going through the process I use, the process I take when teaching myself a new trick. Now, granted, I am not starting from zero. I have a certain amount of tricks in my background. Uh, I've been taught certain things. Uh, I've had many, many years in martial arts training in general, and so I'm not starting from zero. But knowing that, knowing not that I'm not starting from zero, there is a process that I take when I'm trying to learn something new or trying to figure out how something I saw online works and how I can do it myself. So I'm gonna break it down, break, uh, I can't talk. So I'm gonna break that down and hopefully you guys will enjoy. But like always, just so you guys know, in case you've missed it, don't forget that I have a giveaway going on, two giveaways, one on YouTube, one on Instagram. Both uh, giveaways will be mentioned down in the description, so check that out if you're interested. But without further ado, let's run that intro. So I gotta be real here, it is like 90 degrees here in Texas and <laughs> just outside of Dallas and it is hot. Um, so because I don't want to get heat stroke, I'm going to do two things. Number one, I'm going to change my outfit because I literally just got off work. And number two, I'm going to get something to drink because, you know, heat stroke's not a good thing and neither is dehydration. None of those things I want to happen. And so I'm going to grab both of those things and then show you the next step. Okay, so once you get your new change of clothes and some water, then you go out your backyard and get to it. First off, uh, first thing you're gonna wanna do is figure out what you're gonna wanna practice. Maybe you know, uh, maybe you saw something online that you wanna do, maybe you saw someone on Instagram or YouTube that you uh, wanna try out, or maybe you don't know what you wanna do and you just start off playing with your bow staff a little bit or playing with whatever weapon you choose. Play with it, um, toss around, get comfortable, with it, get comfortable with it, and warm up just a little bit so that you're not going in cold. And then once you figure out or decide to go for your trick, go for it nonstop. Go at it one time after another, after failure, after failure, after failure. As you can see in this video, I fail so many times. And guys, this, this isn't just a one day thing. You keep trying, you keep trying until you get it. Now, that does not mean you don't take breaks. It is good every now and then for you to take a second, breathe, maybe try another trick that you're more comfortable with, maybe do something else just for a couple seconds, couple, a minute or two, just to kind of get your mind off of, uh, off of the trick you're doing, get your mind you know, fresh, get your body fresh, and then go back to doing it. Focus on what you're doing, pick out your trick, and go for it nonstop until you get it. Now your goal is to get it three times or more in a row. That is generally looked at as a good measure of having it down and being able to do it on command. If you can do it three times in a row, you can do it basically how many, however many times you need to. Uh, but guys, this is, like I said earlier, not just a one day thing. You spend hours uh, day after day, week after week, trying to get some of these tricks, especially for these harder ones uh, when you're just starting out. It will take some time to figure out. It will take some replanning, some maybe moving around, trying out different weapons with different weights that work for you. Uh, like I did in this video, I ended up getting it with my lighter wooden uh, white bow staff as opposed to my heavier, darker one. So don't be afraid to try it over and over again. Don't be afraid to put in the repetitions because let me tell you right now, you're gonna put in a lot of repetitions. I'm just, I'm gonna be straight with you. It's gonna be <laughs> plenty of time you spend. You might not get it on day one, week one, or month one, but if you keep working at it, you will eventually get the skills and it will eventually get easier for you. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is kind of a different video than the normal, uh, where I go through like some of the process processes that I take and I go through when I'm training and when I'm tricking. If you want to hear more about the techniques and strategies I take at training or I uh, 
imply when I'm training, uh, then let me know. I'd love to do more videos like this. It's pretty cool. It's pretty fun. I was I was needing to train anyway, so uh, it gave me a good excuse. But with all that said, don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know down in the comments what you think about this video and what other videos you want me to see. But until next time, my name's DJ Moore. This is The Modern Ninja and I'm out.